All right. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Strife, and today we are back with Anthem. We're just gonna go quickly visit every person down the street until we meet Owen. All right. Freelancer. Oh, man. Thanks again for your help. Yeah. Business is already looking up. Selling the thunder, huh? Hey, people laugh, but the uniform makes the soldier. Ever seen the Dominion? They know it. If you want to win a war, presentation is half the battle. A javelin's designed to intimidate, annihilate, exterminate, eradicate, and if you're really good, obliterate. You have to inspire fearful awe in your enemies. That's why I carry a really big gun. It does the inspiring for me. It's more than that, though. If all they fear is the weapon, what happens when you aren't carrying one? I've got two fists I can introduce them to. <laughs> I like your style. A flying hammer bashing anything that gets in its way. Everything's a nail. There's your statement. Your fearful awe. You seem pretty passionate about this. I love what I do. And it's important. I want to help the good guys win. When a freelancer shows up in their javelin, I want people to remember it. Your enemies will shudder. Your allies will salute. I like the sound of that. A little thunder and lightning to make an entrance. You get it. Why do people fear a big storm rolling in? Probably because it can kill you. That's right. There's power in that sky. And pain if you don't respect it. So you just let me know if I can fix you up with anything. A javelin's always got room for more thunder. Will do. See you around. All right. All right. We brought a little bit of thunder in our lives. And I love how the, how it's made when you walk by an NPC, NPC and they just literally make path for you. Did you see that? Like whoever's walking towards you guys is making path for you. All right, we usually could go through here, but I'm going to go through here because I have more, I think I have more people to talk to. All right, first person. Lucky Jack, keeping busy? You know it. Just had a contract dealing with scars. I show up and they're messing with a relic. Good thing some buddies jump on the call. We've got elementals swarming, scars everywhere, then a love-struck Korox shows up. What happened? Teamwork, fancy flying, and one heck of a lucky shot. Next thing I know, the relic's silent, the Korox has a new friend, and we come out all right. Starting to see where you got the nickname. It could have gone straight sideways, I'm telling you, but that's what family's for. Stronger together, right? I love one. But flying solo. No, actually, it's handy, but it's nice to fly out solo too. Time in your own, just you and a cipher against the wild. Yeah. I hear you. Whatever's right for the moment. My next gig might be solo at this point. Is there a problem? My buddies and I thought we'd team up on another contract. Last one went well, so why not, right? Now they can't agree which job to take. I just want something logged in the pending contracts report. What are your options? An arcanist looking for a lost vault. Gotta love some mystery. Or the fort needs people to take on hostile wildlife. Guaranteed action there. Hey man, go for the mystery. Do you really want to pass up a chance to uncover lost secrets? That's what makes the job exciting, isn't it? All right, buddy. Using you as the tiebreaker. Wish me luck. I'm not sure you need it. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you around. <laughs> All right, so Bioware, man. They've created the Mass Effect, Ma Mass Effect series, right? Really? Just drop by. So I'm thinking, like, in each game they create, this, there's going to be a Jack. And this guy, I mean, this Jack in this particular situation is male. The Jack from the previous series of Mass Effect was actually a female, and she was gorgeous. This guy, however, don't forget to check in. I guess he's gorgeous. I mean, look at the post he's standing. He's like, yeah, check me out. Oh, yeah. I'm all about money and I'm all about looks. I look fantastic. All right, next one. Look who's come around. Right. Looking sharp, big star. Right. Feeling better? Yes, indeed. Yes. Flying high. What have you been up to? Freelancing. Always freelancing. And some shady business. Shady business? Oh, yeah. A sorry tale of woe, my glamorous friend. You want to hear it? Oh, of course. I'm all ears. See? This is why I like you. You understand that when adventure comes knocking... You open the damn door. It's chapter one of the Freelancer Handbook. 
There's sexy danger, sexy bad choices, probably more sexy danger. Sexy Tell danger. me what happened. I found myself in a game of chance with some dubious regulator types. Not the good kind. These were real knee breakers. In hindsight, it probably wasn't a good idea. How'd you end up there? They asked. Who knows? What did I have to lose? That's for adventure. A boring afternoon. Nothing wrong with diving in, right? Sexy danger. I suppose. Anyway, this game, I kind of bet my javelin suit. Oh, you did what? I was confident I had the winning hand. Let me guess. Sexy bad choice? Affirmative. <laughs> Turns out my cards were crap. Yeah, out. Things got pretty ugly. So you lost your suit? Not yet. They gave me a deadline to deliver it. So I was sitting here trying to figure out what I should do. I should, I don't know, make them a deal. I See if they want to do a trade. Instead of your suit, they might take something else. Well, I don't know. Maybe. They're smugglers. They'll bargain for sure. Yeah, you're right. I'm out there running across all kinds of valuable stuff. It has to be something they want. They'll get it. They're interested in profits. That's what you're offering. Okay. Sounds like a plan. I'll talk to you later. All right, Wraith. Have a good one, buddy. Girl. All right, I suppose we should go to Owen. Uh, if we meet somebody on the way. Actually, there was somebody we talked earlier. You remember the guy with the broom? Yeah. That guy. Meant for meeting. Hey, old man. Looks like this is your lucky day. Is it? Why's that? You just bumped into the oldest man in Fort Tarsis. Name's Jarek. Nice You're so you. old. Your you arm actually so... grew with the wall you here. Know, you don't live as long as I have without seeing some things. Yeah, like what? I was there when the scars swarmed the fort's terraces. It was a bloodbath. Happened over fifty years ago, and it feels like yesterday. I was also there when the scars came over the walls. What do you think about that? I think you've seen a lot. You bet I have. More than you ever will, that's for sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I hope you're right. Oh, I am, freelancer. I've lived a life filled with bloodshed and disaster. I've survived strider ambushes, dominion attacks and outlaws. I've even run from wyverns. I've seen enough death the last 50 lifetimes. And yet, somehow, I'm still kicking. So what's your secret to survival? It ain't no secret. I'm a pragmatist. I always did what I had to in order to survive. Dagley, did you too? Dagley. Sounds like you made some tough choices. You tell me. I was in a mining crew digging for ore near Heliost when the main shaft collapsed. We were trapped behind a solid wall of rock. We had no idea of how long it would take for the rescue party to dig us out. I was lucky enough to find a bottle of water. But there were six of us. One bottle of water for six miners? How many of you made it out? I was the only survivor. Oh my god. So why only you? I mean, could have spared that bottle. Why were you the only survivor? If I'd have shared that water, nobody would have lived. So you chose to let five people die to save yourself? I told you, I'm a pragmatist. I guess that's why you're the oldest man in Fort Tarsus. Don't you judge me. You've seen death. You've done things. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah. It's usually a glint of sadness or knowledge, but in some people... That glint turns into a gleam. And a gleam means they want to see more death. Be careful, freelancer. I still see a glint in your eyes. I suppose you're right, but I still see your arm. Literally shoved into the wall. Is that why you're standing here? Uh, okay. Okay, Bioware. Bioware, fix this man. This poor man's arm. This poor man's arm. Sorry, I'm just kidding. So, Bioware, fix this poor man's arm and legs and arm and legs and arm. I sure am convinced that this is hurtful if you're actually stuck. But it appears that 
Yeah, everything else is still good fine. They just have to respawn the guy, I suppose. Put him on top of the system. Because <laughs> when you, you know, push him a bit up, I think everything will level up. Alright. What do you got? So, you are a weird guy. I don't know what kind of helmet that is, but... Right. Hey, you're a freelancer, right? Yeah, right. I've heard things about you. Thank you. What kind of things? Some of the Arcanists said you stopped a cataclysm. Or a giant Ursix? Or both? That was me, yeah. It was uh, kind of both. Interesting. You're one to watch. I don't want to say too much just yet, but be mindful. A lot of eyes will be on you soon. What does that mean? It means this is the time to show what you're made of. I'm up for anything, man. You've got a contract for me. I'm happy to hear it. Not a contract, exactly. Have you ever heard of the path to glory? It's like a ranking of Lancers, right? That's not all it is. There are certain rewards offered to those on the path. Rewards offered by who, exactly? The Emperor. Put yourself on the path, Freelancer. What you do will matter, I promise. Uh, it does sound... does sound tempting. But I'll pass. Uh, okay, you guys want to talk to the guy again? And this time accept his bullshit? Alright, let's... Oh, we can't talk to that. Alright. Fix the goddamn dude's arm. The goddamn dude's arm. Hey, how you doing, people? Hey. Strife is in the house. Hey, where's my drink? I think you've had enough for one day. Yeah, I think so too. I'll tell you when I've had enough. Don't tell me, tell him. Why are you both looking at me? It's not like I'm the main, you know, dude. Hey, buddy. What's up? What are you talking about? You called me, mate. No, you... Oh, hold on a second. The Monitor is leading a mission back into the heart of range. Yeah. He wants to weaponize the Cenotaph. We decrypted the archive you recovered from the Regulator camp earlier, and we know why he's after unique Shaper relics. Doesn't mean he'll succeed. Yeah. Did you know the Monitor was there when the Dominion attacked Freemark? Oh, yeah. One of the few who escaped when the Cenotaph leveled the city. Oh, shit. He's ruthless, driven, and savage. An incredibly powerful cipher and a brilliant pilot. He frightens even his own people. The storm will tear him apart. No one survives the heart of rage. <laughs> you did. The intel also reveals that he's perfected a way to harness the power of the Cenotaph. And we cannot let that happen. Obviously. I need you to find a way through the heart of rage. Get to the Cenotaph first and silence it. Do what freelancers do. Do what freelancers do? You're talking about a bloody cataclysm. He's right. We aren't equipped to take that on. <laughs> of course. Well, I can think of others who survived the heart of rage that day, who never let it go, studied it. Ugh, come on. I feel like I'm supposed to know this one. My old partners, Alec and Faye. Intel says the Monitor is on their trail. It suggests Faye has found something important. Last known location. Oh, I can. <clears throat> yeah, you're not impressing her, buddy. I think she's a tough one. Especially for you to break. So, Halleck and Faye. Intel says your partnership ended badly. I don't know, we just kind of grew apart. Really? Because I heard that Halleck never forgave you for pulling him out of that storm and Faye went... Where are we going? All right. <clears throat> oh, you're kidding me. No, Halleck and Faye are working with Princess Zim. The regulator boss? Oh, please, she's a smuggler at best. She's a full-fledged crime lord at worst. We really need them. To get through the heart of rage and beat the monitor to the cenotaph? Yeah, we need them. Do we? You and I? We're such a solid team already. Of course. That's why Tassin picked us. You got my back, I got yours. All right. Hey, considering that the monitor is both Lancer and Cypher, we could probably use... A very fabulous cipher javelin pilot combo of our own. Owen, be patient. Pilot lessons are going fine, but seriously, it might take you years. Okay. You know what? This might be fun. Apparently, Princess Sim's camp is like a traveling carnival. Now, it's a traveling carnival run by bloodthirsty gangsters. Oh, who like gifts? 
so you need to get us something to get in. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> yeah, what well, could possibly go wrong? Everything, especially with you, buddy. Uh, just respawn here. Spawn here. Loading up. All right. Are you drunk, huh? Yeah, what's new? Like, oh, cranky. You see my skull? It saw so much death and destruction back in the days. And she's like, oh my god, why am I still standing here? And you know what? And my dogs are doing. My cat. Uh, maybe my cat is being eaten by my dogs. Who knows? Mm, you don't mind listening to me, lady? <laughs> Gotta love to. when this place was called the Shifty Koroks? First, that only lasted two months. And second, don't call it that. I don't know why I have popping sounds in my ear. ear. Hey, you want to talk to me? Well, I know you. You're the hot shot who silenced that shaper thing, yeah? Yeah. Word travels fast. I keep an ear to the ground. Best way to stay alive out here. Maxine. Call me Max. Welcome to my bar. You're the owner? Am now. Got it off Dusty in a game of cards. Wow. Pretty sure he threw that hand. Wow, he lost his bar on purpose. You really think he'd bet his entire bar and throw the hand? In a heartbeat. If he ever had a heart to begin with. Dusty managed to lose the deed to his bar and his shirt and the very next morning headed out of town. Only he didn't make it. Oh, hold up a second. What happened to the last owner? He was on a strider to Antium with the governor and it went down. Some say accident, some say a hit. Nobody made it back and the black box went missing. You think Dusty was the target? Or the governor? Dusty owed a lot to the wrong people, but dead men don't pay their debts. The governor? Not really worth the trouble, you know what I mean? Dusty's not the only owner to die in glitch circumstances, just the latest. People think this place is cursed. Not you, of course. You don't strike me as waiting around for certain doom. Who has time for that crap? I got work to do. Deals don't make themselves. You're doing good work around here, freelancer. I'll get you a tab. First one's on the house. Thank you. And if there's something you need, maybe I know some people. We'll see. Okay? Well, that's definitely a good one. I won one. Let's see if she actually pays my drink. Hey, man. Oh, you f I had look. How about you, Hotshot? Yeah, girl. Of course. And you're not gonna give me a drink. So that was a lie. Yeah. I've been lied again. Yeah. Alright, let's check this dude out. Supposedly, he talked to us about these. Oh wait, that that's not the guy. The guy was over here. Uh, the uh, I forgot the guy with the broom was not the guy who talk, talked about Owen. This guy. Did you hear anything about that guy? Hey, good to see you. You're a freelancer, right? I think you knew that. I never assume. Like I'm a laundryman now, right? But not very long ago, I was a cleaning guy. I figured you were like me, always on the move. We're not that alike. Sure we are. Anyway, you know Yarrow, right? That super old freelancer? Sure, I know Yaro. You think you know him, but did you hear about him in the Tesselar? Alright, you see that? Last time he told me a story about Owen. Now he's throwing me another story about somebody else. Did I listen to this? <sighs> no, but I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Yes. So, I guess a long time ago, he was guarding some families. And a kid got too close to a Tesselar burrow. It all happened so fast that to save the child's life, Yarrow had no choice but to choke the Tesselar to death with his bare hands. But Tesselars emit an electrical charge. Yarrow would have at least been knocked out. Yeah, but I guess he held on, even though he was unconscious. Why wasn't he in his javelin? I think it was really hot out. Javelins compensate for temperatures. You know, you're wrecking this story, right? Oh, I was just trying to understand how he did it. Trust me, he did it, okay? That's why he talks so funny. He does? Uh, yeah. Have you ever talked to him? Yes. 
<laughs> you have? I tried to once, but he was, uh, he was too busy. Hey, do you have time for lunch? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, we're both so busy, huh? Let's help. All right, I'll see you around. So, yeah. We were about to go to a mission. One of the main ones, which is gonna be awesome. And also, yeah, we've painted Archie. He looks amazing. Sorry, I may, I may sound a little bit heavy. But that's because I ate. The change mission. And these guys. No, no, no. Without bringing gifts. Yeah, I've marked locations where we'll find something that should work. Tribute for a princess, huh? It'll give me time to meet you there. Wait, what? You think I'd miss the reunion with your mates? I hitched a ride on a smuggler strider. Oh, it'll be fine. Uh, wait, one of them's coming. Back in a sec. Okay, I'm borrowing this Strider's amplifier. Crammed in with smuggled rabbits. It's not safe out here. Safe gets boring. Time for a freelancer adventure. You'll see. Some scars in the area stole weapons from Princess Sim. Being back for her could be a good icebreaker. They're gonna put up a fight, though. Well, that weapon scare should be around here somewhere. Should we use the tunnel over there? Nah, I don't think so. What are we getting here? Relics. The scars took a few from Zim's merry band of smugglers. Of course, they probably sold them first, but it will score points with Zim if we get them back. Well, after you take care of the walking bugs. Holy shit, that thing deals damage. Holy shit. I never understood what's. Okay, see if you can find the relics. Almost have enough. Need one last bit of tribute for the princess. Location marked. I want to enter this place. I want to see the house. No. Why? Princess Sim loves to throw a good party. I hear grilled ursics is a favorite dish. Oh, that critical. I'm sure the stars will leave the rest. Good, we got it. One slab of Ursics ready to serve. Fresh the better. Now let's deliver it. I've marked the location for Princess Sim's hideout. 
All right, let's see the princess or prince, whatever. Nobody fucking cares, right? Oh, I got. Uh, I love the sniper. Sniper's so good. My strider's approaching in place. Now, before this reunion kicks off, do you really think Halleck and Faye will help? We're all professionals. Yeah, and I've seen professionals beat each other silly. Won't be like that. The stakes are too high. Let's hope. If the Dominion harness the cenotaph, that blood will be the least of our worries. Yeah, I went to the wrong place. See what I mean, see what I mean. What we need, man. Okay, I've managed to sneak in. How? Oh. I hid in the gravit cage. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't my proudest moment. If the regulators catch you? Yeah, that's not a problem. This place is one giant party. I'll see you inside. I've done that mission easily on my own. Next time I'm going on solo. What is that? Owen? Oh, Owen has a suit. Nice. Or that was the trip. Well, the trip. Oh, it was fabulous. Yeah, I just loved hitching a ride on a smuggler strider. It was first-class comfort all the way. Behold the wonders of the palace. All hail Princess Zim. Yeah. Long may she reign. <laughs> they do know that she is not a, uh, a real princess, right? She's just a crazy smuggler with delusions of grandeur. You scoped this place out yet? What, you think I went in there alone? Are you crazy? No, I've been standing here waiting for you. Besides, it's your friends we're looking for. Let's go find Halleck and Faye. Right, come on. Why am I not in my javelin? Hey, is that them over there? I suppose. I suppose it would have been a bad idea if I actually came with my javelin here. Yep. Oh, pleasure doing business, princess. Our business is not yet completed. No? I thought we had a... deal. Who is this, Haluk? No one. An old friend. Please, invite your old friend over to join us. Well, uh, I'm sorry, but we gotta go. No. First, we celebrate our new partnership <clears throat> in the tradition of my people. Come closer, friend of Haluk. Alright. I love it. Smack the shit out of me. Scorpid and Stinger, highly acidic, is going to burn going down. A lot. Um, you know, I had a big breakfast. Refusing a meal is a grave insult to your host. I'll take it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, boy. Forgive my ignorance, princess. I didn't know people could eat this. I come from a harsh and unforgiving land. Plants are scarce. Animals even more so. Before the Dominion conquered us, we had a saying. Food is life. True, but life still. Is struggle. We understood that. We embraced it. It helped make us strong. Then you never shit again. Never drop the shit Thanks for the again. Meat, princess. Is that food? That was just the appetizer. I see. <laughs> I love it. <coughs> oh my god, it's gonna be a human head. It's gonna be a human head! The main course. <coughs> oh. oh. Okay. Behold. The pheromone sack of a young Manticore. 
cured for an entire year. I don't know what Mantica is. That fermented chimera venom. A rare delicacy I have been saving for a special but that, occasion. That seems awful. After you, princess. I could not dishonor myself by eating while my guests go hungry. I love Manticar. A deal? Be sure to thank your friend Haluk. Oh, you, you look a little green. Just need to sit down for a second. Oh, what did I do? Alex seems very... What do you want? I think what he meant to say was thank you. I have a contract. A contract? Well, we don't need your charity. Excellent. Okay, Alec, this is Owen. Cypher and Lancer in the making. Corvus sent me. Corvus? Huh. Are you some kind of a hotshot now? We've got a lot of nerve after all this time. Quit being dramatic. Sit down. I'd rather stand. Let's all go back to the Strider. I'll explain. We got our own thing going. Thanks, but no. Wait. Something's not right. You think? <laughs> the minion. The minion drops. Clear out. Scatter. We'll keep your friends safe. Don't worry about me. I'll see you there. Yeah, don't worry. Come on, Archie. Get in here, boy. Where's you at? Gotta get in you. Gotta get in you. Archie! Don't leave me, man. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I'm loving the, the game so far. God, it's amazing. I want more. I can't get enough of it. I don't know what I'm gonna do without without this game in my life. We're on it, guys. Be careful. Watch your six. I'm on it. No, no, I'm just using it. Oh, that was a bad idea. This is my ult, nothing. Okay. Yeah, nothing 
is working. I, I, I can't... Don't worry, you're clear. The Dominion are licking their wounds for the moment. Oh, good. I mean, we showed them. Now, uh, I wouldn't mind getting inside the Strider. Of course you wouldn't mind. Yeah, aren't you a badass mother? My man. That sniper, dude. That's an anti tank thing. It's huge. Unlocked. Pilot level increased. New javelin unlocked. I suppose we can unlock one more. Like, the question is which one should we unlock? Actually, I'm gonna leave this one to you guys. I will let you decide which javelin to unlock. So, comment down below. Which is the javelin you like to be seen? <laughs> what a rush! <laughs> I mean, I'd say we really took it to the Dominion back then, right? And I think we'll agree that I was, I was pretty fantastic. <laughs> oh, are you serious? That was a disaster. You were a disaster. Never do that again, please. Right, I'll just, uh, I'll just head to the amplifier. Over here. Come on, man. The guy tried. Nothing's changed. Much well, probably at least painted or something. The corrosion adds a nice patina. Should we talk about the weather next, or have we fulfilled our quota for small talk? I don't think there's a penalty for going over. Read any good books lately? Thousands of them. It's been a long time, you know. It's good to see you again. Is it? Yeah. You're not just here because you need something. It doesn't matter. You're back. I'm still picking up a lot of Dominion radio chatter, but we're losing sight of our pursuers. Oh, no, sorry. Why have we stopped? Uh, hey, yeah, yeah. Damn it all to hell. Alec, you still haven't replaced that actuator? It's still good. And shut up. <laughs> I got this. <coughs> yep, off to a great start. Where's my socket wrench? Left in the box, as usual. Never thought you'd be back here. Life's just full of surprises. Switching off starboard power before it overloads. Oh, come on. That's just half the fun. Please, hurry this up. They will be on top of us any minute now. Flyers. Oh, you surprised I remembered? Yeah. So what are you doing here? I'm helping you fix this garbage actuator. Again. More reliable than some. So what's this contract of yours? Can we please chat later? The Dominion will be here any second. One, please. This is important. Just, you're not helping. Screwdriver. Which one? Use your words. Three eights, obviously. I'm going back to the heart of rage. Really? The Dominion wants the Cenotaph. Corvus hired me to get it first. Well, that explains why Dominion troops showed up at Zim's. Faye, light us up. <clears throat> Faye and I have two years of research and legwork on this. And you want what? Jump in the end and claim credit? Halleck, time is of the essence. We have a lead that requires a Lancer right now. Shouldn't we work together? No. I can handle it. You've got the Dominion on your back, and you don't think that maybe you could use a hand? We could find someone else. You go right ahead, mate. Not in time, we can't. You need me. And I can't finish this contract without you. One job. Just one. <clears throat> I got a Strider to drive. You said you have a lead? We might. One moment. As expected. Hold these, please. You found something about the Cenotaph or the Heart of Rage? Zim did. Pays to have friends, you know. <laughs> Some friends. I'm sure you've heard of the Legion of Dawn, General Tarsus. What? 
General Tarsus? Yeah, she entered the last heart of rage and reached the center, the cenotaph. How? I've done the research. Her javelin could do the impossible. It had unique shields and who knows what else. Wait, you, you think you found her armor? The original Javelin of Dawn? Yes, finally. Now we just need to go get it. Interested? Well, personally, I can't wait to see it. Just give me whatever intel Her Highness had and let's get the expedition started. No need. I'll be supporting this mission. I've already done all the relevant research. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Ouch. Sorry, Owen. Thank you, buddy. Love you. All right, we are back here on the fort and we're about to end this episode right now. Before I go, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've been enjoying this amazing, amazing journey that I, I actually very, very much love. And, uh, you know, all the support right now is welcome and in the future. And I just, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for being here. I love you. And as always, I'll see you all with the next one.